Oh, there's Cortana. Uh, how about no? No. Why, we're failing already. You need 39 gigs free. What do you mean? We have 100. Is that not enough? Okay, no, cool. you, pretty, you have a pretty hard on for blue last time I remember. Whoa. What? Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> so I like blue things. Wow. This, it's been one of those eons. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> yeah. That's our vocal warm up. No, that's mine right there. That's your vocal warm up. Hey guys, how are you all doing? Really? That's just great. You know, I'm doing pretty great today too because I'm not all lonely in the lair today. I ordered a pizza and oh, guess what? The pizza guy stayed and it's none other than Maniac Mike. Hello. Hey. So we're, we're on a little bit of an experiment today. I've been using Adobe Premiere as my daily driver at my day job, but I use Final Cut Pro 10 as my daily driver in my freelance life and in my YouTube life. So I was wondering, hmm, why does Final Cut Pro seem so much freaking faster than Premiere? And why is Premiere just like so unbelievably slow? Is it, a, is it an optimization issue? Is it faster on Windows maybe? Maybe it's not optimized for Mac OS. So I was thinking I need to compare them. And then someone else commented asking something very similar recently. And I'm like, well, you know what? You're in luck guy, because I'm doing an experiment on that. So what we're gonna be doing soon is we're gonna pit Adobe Premiere Speed on Windows against Mac OS and see which one actually renders stuff faster. But first we need to get Windows installed on this computer. That's where this lovely DVD of Windows 10 64-bit comes from. I believe I imaged this from, or burned this from an image that I got from the recovery tool. Who, who knows how long ago, I honestly don't remember. Uh, and we're gonna be using the built-in bootcamp solution, which I like never have luck with. <laughs> so I'm really scared. This is probably not gonna work at all, but hey, Maniac Mike will make it easier. So let's start with the bootcamp assistant. So essentially what we need to do is partition the disk, install Windows, and then you don't have enough space. F mother shit, bitch, why? We're failing already. You need 39 gigs free. What do you mean? We have 100. Is that not enough? Oh my gosh. Shit. <laughs> okay, so before that happened, what I was trying to say was we need to partition the disk, install Windows, and then get the drivers installed on Windows so it operates properly on this hardware. But right now, we don't even have the space to do that. So, let me see here. So we don't need to create an installer. We do need to download that shit though. So maybe we can at least do that. Cause I think we can use my, my DVD though for the actual installer, but for the drivers, we may need to do this here. Okay. Well, let's see if we can download this at least to the Kingston. Cannot be used. All right, it needs to be reformatted. All right, so let's at least do that for now. Let's get disk utility open and reformat the slash drive for the drivers. FAT32, we can do that, right? Let's go here. Boom, and that should be pretty simple. All right, so partition complete, that is done. Now we should be able to hit continue and, what do you mean it can't be used? Oh, it needs MBR, son of a bitch. All right, we can do that. Erase, MBR, fat, erase. Just do your thing and we're done. Okay, hopefully you can work now. Your computer is not connected to a power source. Well, I too like to live dangerously. So we will just do that without power source. And we're good on battery anyways. Yeah, we have a shit ton of battery. Okay, so while that's going, I need to free up some disk space. Apparently like 39 gigs, like what? All right, that'll be fun. All right, thanks to the power of this lassie, I was able to transfer a few things and I deleted some caches and all that BS. So we should be all, oh, it's still doing, a, it's doing something in the background right now. So we actually can't continue with the partitioning process at the moment, but at least the support software is going on there. Sometimes this part can take forever. So we'll catch you on the flip side in like five hours. So I was like quickly looking at this disc to see the scratches on it and like, oh my gosh, guys, <laughs> where was this thing stored? <laughs> uh, so what were you wondering about it? Was there? Well, I mean, from when we from when we got in here today, I mean, you were just playing around with it, sliding around and oh my gosh, I'm just like, yeah, this is going to, to fail spectacularly. Nope, it's gonna work because I'm a believer. So I'm gonna put this in. Well, actually this wouldn't really prove anything. It might just prove that one part of the disc works worth able to mount, but not actually copy all the files. But for the sake of experiment for now, 
Let's see, where's that USB port? Uh, let's see, there you go. Maniac Mike, do you want to help me out there? <laughs> help a brother out? There. Thank you, sir. All right, let's pop that in there. Boop. According to the progress bar, which could be wrong, it's almost done. I mean, it mounted at least. Yeah, but we'll see where this goes. Yeah. So I actually just realized under the action menu, there is like a manual button to do just the download of the support software. I had no idea that was even a thing. Install this Windows support software after installing Windows. Makes sense. So we're going to quit. Oh, <laughs> hey, eject first. Eject, eject. It's working on it. It's still working on it. There we go. All right, let's reopen the boot camp thing. All right, continue. What do you mean? What? We just freed up a ton of... Wait. You... Oh, wait, hang on a second. This didn't say we needed to free up 39 gigs. It says you must have at least 39 gigs free. We have 140. What is this thing doing? <laughs> oh, my gosh, guys. What? Okay, well, that's going to go in the tech wait fails gallery. What? Hey, hang on a second. Process of elimination. What? Uh, oh, now it... Oh, now it... Now no, that's it's... trying to download Windows 10. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, because it Uncheck the box. Yeah. Oh, wait, the install is blurred out. Yeah, now it graded out. So if we go... Shit. Let's try it. Yeah, it says... But we have, uh, like, 100 and... We have 140 gigs free, and it says we need at least 39. <laughs> and that's your only partition, correct? Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Let's... Double check this. There shouldn't be anything else on here. Yeah, there is one container and the container has one volume. All right, uh, let's just reboot the computer maybe. Maybe it's just confused. Oh, f you. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. Quit. Reboot. Yeah, this is weird. Like, we're, we're already having problems. Like,. I had a coworker who was having trouble using boot camp recently, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm about to jump into that myself. I'm just so scared. All right, so we're rebooted. Let's try doing that again. Hopefully it works this time. Yeah, right. Didn't even open up. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay, continue. I'm gonna punch a bitch. Why doesn't this work? Um, could we manually partition this? Would it work still? Like, how would the BIOS emulation end up functioning? Well, for sure it can't be APFS. Well, yeah, we would partition it as, like, FAT, and then we'd have the Windows installer reset it as NTFS. I've done a manual partitioning before without using Boot Camp. I think it worked because you can still install the drivers, but my concern is will the BIOS emulation have a, have a problem? Since nothing is working, maybe we just try it? Just for shits and giggles, maybe? Maybe. Let's try... Oh. Yeah, you're gonna... Oh, oh, God. Okay, hang on, let's do partition. I think if we add... Oh, good heavens. Oh my gosh, APFS is really fucking confusing. <laughs> it makes everything so much harder. Okay, there's gotta be a way to do this. Can we do this from recovery mode? Like, can we like resize this stuff or something? Wow, this is really weird. Maybe APFS is confusing the bootcamp assistant, but it's it's Apple's own thing. That would be silly. Yeah. Huh. And plus, APFS is standard on new installations. Right, right, and they and the installations still come with the bootcamp assistant. So yeah. it's not like it's an out of date technology, but it doesn't seem to know how to work. I want to partition the device, but it's not letting me. The container cannot be split because the resulting containers would be too small. What the shit does that mean? Okay, well, let's try doing this in recovery mode. I doubt we're gonna get a different result, but maybe, maybe we'll luck out. And if this really doesn't work, we can try it on your system since you volunteered your computer as tribute. Yeah. Ah, shit. Wait, we don't have a way to plug this super drive in though, do we? Do you have a dongle? Oh, wait, you have, a, you have a hyper thing, right? I have a hyperdrive. Hyperdrive! Well, at least, uh, yeah, at least mine's working. I don't know what the f*** is going on with yours. Your assistant's doing the thing? Yeah, Hang mine! On. Shit! What the freaky frack on a stick biscuit? What the bitch? What? How? Why? I just hit next, and that's what <laughs> showed up! What? Hang on, so... Oh, wait, that's new. Where it says ISO image? I don't remember it ever saying that before. You can just put the ISO right inside of there? I think Shit. that's mostly just for, like, these, because you don't have any 
USB ports. Eh, that could be. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's done. Wow, that's how did it work for you, but not for me? Gosh darn it. Oh yeah, because the Crazy Ken curse only applies to Crazy Ken, not you. That's why. Lucky bastard. You light mode. Well, yeah, right? Light mode. <laughs> Ew, so gross. All right, so I gotta wait for it to mount, and then I'll have to type in the password to unlock the disc. There we go. Okay, so we're unlocked. Partition. It's gonna do the same bullshit. Yep. Yep. All right, well, we're gonna have to abort the mission on this guy. Well, if you're cool with us temporarily installing Windows on your system to do this experiment, I'd love to use your computer. Here's what's funny. I have... So, you're gonna hate me for this, but I have just oh, no. a mount about the same amount of space available and i have a smaller ssd you have a 512 gigabyte ssd if i remember correctly yes that's true and i have a 256 well i'm sorry that i'm a video editor that also shoots raw photography hmm. <laughs> well no it's nothing in your part it's because Boot camp on your computer is just fucking garbage. Oh, that. Oh, never mind. I thought you were making fun of my, like, storage habits. But, yeah, that's... No. I want to punch something really hard. Not. You have better storage than I do because you have full Thunderbolt drives. I don't. I, you, I don't have anything that will take advantage cry of... Cry me a river. Place. Cry me a damn river. All right. Let's put your computer in here. Okay, so Maniac Mike is, like, literally saving the day here. So he has his 2018 MacBook Pro here. In glorious space gray. In glorious space gray. And yeah, Bootcamp Assistant is just working like it freaking should. <laughs> so yes, um, I'm just trying to see. Please select the Bootcamp partition size. Once the partition is created, it cannot be adjusted. Windows support software will be installed after completing Windows installation. So does it need to image that to a flash drive or does it just know how to do that? I guess it just reads it right from the ISO. It m considering well, how you're Considering how I'm kind of seeing it here is that you have, you're already to the step where you, choose the size of your partition yeah. and then click go right into install. Wow, they really simplified this. I wish it worked for me. <laughs> um, well, let's give it like 64 gigs. That should be fine. It's just temporary anyway. Yep. 65, whatever. But first of all, we're going to need an ISO image. We will, or we have a CD. I think it wants an ISO image more than a CD. Yeah, that's true. Um, all right, well, what's your what's your plan? I was thinking we should probably download one right from Microsoft's website. All right, so you know what? I'm gonna let you sit in the crazy Ken stool and navigate. Certainly. Normally, if you try to visit this on visit the site on a Windows computer, mm. you'll get the download to the media creation tool. However, because we are not running Windows, we can't use that and it will just give us a direct ISO file. Which I would love. Just let that download. So yep. in the meantime, uh, you have a little gadget in case we needed to use the USB drives and stuff like that. Uh, yep. So, there? as you may or may not already know, I only have Thunderbolt 3 ports, which are USB Type-C. Because Apple is like that for some reason and wants to get, <laughs> get rid of all the ports. Well, so, yeah, you know. thankfully, I have what I like to call the Uber dongle, which is this guy right here. So, it takes up two USB-C ports, or Thunderbolt ports, Whatever you want to call it, I don't really give a shit. USB-C slash Thunderbolt 3. <laughs> Basically, it goes onto one side, and it, as you can see, it gives me all my ports back. So there's two pass-throughs for each of the Thunderbolt ports, and I can charge through them, too. Nice. And then I have a both a micro and full-size uh, SD card. Oh, dude. Two USB-As. I believe these are 3.1 or 3.0 spec. I don't know. And then if we come around here, I also have HDMI out. Awesome. I mean, at the... At the office I'm at for my day job, we should probably get some of those for the MacBook Pro. Yep, and they do come in both colors. So, like, like here I have the luscious space gray version, but there is the oh, silver yeah. one if you do have the silver version. Sweet. All right, so image is downloaded. Let's drag that boy in here. Okay, 64 gigs, install. You might need to fingerprint or no. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, never mind. Yeah, we live dangerously. Continue on battery power. <laughs> so, oh yeah, it's downloading the support automatically and you don't need to use a flash drive anymore. Wow, yeah. this is getting a lot more automatic. I remember back before it was like, it was still a beta, like in the Tiger days, there were so many other steps you had to do. But at least that worked. It doesn't work for me. <laughs> wow, this is nice. Okay, also, I love the orange with the dark mode. I might have to change my accent color to that because that looks really fucking nah, cool. Yeah, you have a pretty hard on for blue last time I remember. Whoa! What? Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> so I like blue things, but hey, I, 
Honestly, I was thinking this to myself earlier. I was thinking the complement to blue, like in terms of like color contrast, is actually orange. So I was thinking with a dark mode, orange actually looks really nice. I thought, oh, maybe I should do more with orange. And now it's like, oh, this is like a calling. I should change my accent color to orange. But apparently I have a hard on for blue, so I can't do that now. Mm. Well, hey, I don't control you. You do whatever. <laughs> I have a hard on for blue. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Gosh darn it. My screen won't turn on. Asshole, turn on. My computer's mad. Wait, did I shut it down? Oh, I shut it down. That's you right. shut it down. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Booting back up. Wow. It's, it's been one of those eons. Oh, wait, partition. It, I thought for a moment that said formatting. No, like, no, 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 no. Is it doing? It's not formatting. It's just partitioning. But yeah, it's working. It's working, man. Oh, now it's saving the Windows support software. But yeah, Midnight converted me. I'm going to be using some orange with dark mode for now. Yeah. All right. So uh, can you reach your finger in there? Boop. Oh. <laughs> That's cool there that it go. lets you do that for yeah. all that shit. That's awesome. Uh, certain stuff. Oh, and we're going in. Going into Windows. Are you able to sneak, my is dusty. sneak by me? Oh, you want me to clean it? There's probably some fingerprints on it, too. Oh. Oh, hey, we got a Windows. Hey. Rest in peace, startup sound. Yeah. Setup is starting. Wow, this is... I've said this before, but this is so much more automatic well, than before. Well, good news is that, I mean, since this is a temporary install on my system, then we don't need a product key. True. All right. Wait, how does that work nowadays anyway? Because when I it do... It just the... nags at you. No, 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 no. Like, hmm. like, when I've done install from, like, the recovery tool, it just knows. Like, is it tied to an email address or something? Because I never it's, remember being asked. It's probably tied to your motherboard. It might be. I'm, I don't know. I'm, on my Mac, though? I don't know. I don't know, it, or man. Or it could be whatever. Oh, maybe Brainiac Brent knows. But yeah, we don't have a product key, so we can skip that for now. And like you said, it's only for 30 days or whatever. Or well, I'd say for this, we'll, uh, we'll just do Pro. Is that what, That's what was downloaded, though, right? Wasn't it Pro? It's all of those SKUs. Oh, really? Oh, because it depends on what product key you have then. Okay. Yep. I'm learning. It's been a long-ass time since I've touched Windows. What I still don't get is they still have like the old 7 Vista look, but it's Windows 10. I guess they just never changed the way the setup looks. Or the setup is based on Windows. Or, yep, that could be. It's based on Windows 7. Because like with w installing Or it XP could be like an like a ver early version, but it's using like some kind of arrow theme. Yeah, because they even have the little animated progress bars going And if you were there. to boot off of the ISO... Oh, that is going very fast. Holy shit. I mean, it's all on the inside on your super fast <laughs> and, SSD. And yeah, because it's NVMe based, I believe, too. Yeah, it's a freaking fast SSD. So while it's installing, I just kind of wanted to go back to this hyperdrive thing. So uh, Maniac Mike, what kind of technology would you call this? Maybe it's a type of converter of sorts. I think you have it right there. Just put... Just put converter and technology. I think you might have mentioned it before on multiple occasions. I can't put my finger on it. Though. Converter technology. Hmm. I don't know. That just doesn't have like the same ring to it as something else. Maybe. What? What if we play with the words a little bit? Not converter technology, but maybe. What else could we say? That sounds. What about like converge in? Maybe. Is I it, think so. Is it a type of conversion technology? What? That really conversion technology. It works. It sounds Woo. so much better. This thing is really slick, by the way. I really like it. It conversion does, technology. It blends in. It with, does blend in with the rest of the case. Yeah, it's really slick. Okay, well, it's already done with like everything, so it's gonna do finishing up, and then it's probably gonna go to the thing where it's like, hey, we're getting everything set up for you. You know. All right, we're gonna do the startup sound ourselves. Bong. Cool. This is going like super fast. Wow. Holy crap. It's much faster than I would expect it to go. Uh, yeah. And even then, my... Oh, my gosh. My installations on, like, virtual machines just go, oh, my God. What? Dude, I think this installs faster than, like, Mac OS does. <laughs> I could be wrong about that. I haven't used the newer hardware, so I don't know how fast it is on this. I will warn you, get ready to mute. Is there a noise? The devil herself will be appearing soon. Oh, no, Cortana. Wait, how do you mute on this thing with the touch bar? It turns into a function row. Oh, it does? Yeah. And then what function key would be the volume by default? It would, it would be kind of like how your function keys are, and then if you oh. hold function, it'll turn into standard function keys. Oh. Spoiler alert. Okay. 
Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, you don't get any kind of special touch but, bar. To but w does the touch bar know how to communicate with Windows without the support software installed? I think it just does it automatically. Maybe it just does, yeah. Everything's automatic nowadays, which is kind of cool, but I'm so I'm so behind. For all <laughs> I know, I don't think Touch ID works with Windows Hello. Yeah, I don't think, I, that would be a huge security problem. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so it looks like it just did a reboot there. Just a moment. Wow, this is going really smooth though. I'll just make a dummy account. All right, so we're in the Virgin Islands. Nope. Three, two, oh, I guess, yay, because it doesn't recognize there's a microphone. Oh, so it won't automatically do Cortana. We're just flying right through this. Oh yeah. Now we have some important setup to do, so get ready. Make sure you're taking notes on this shit. Are you gonna pull out your phone nah. take, and take notes? You should, because I told you Now to. let's see what's new from Windows. Um, <sighs> don't install that update, please. Mm, yeah, I hope it doesn't. Do that. I don't want my data erased, even though there's nothing to erase on there. Uh, I would go set up for an organization because really? it's a way to bypass the Microsoft account easily. So you can't do that on personal? It, it's easier on Okay, I trust you. I trust you. Yeah. I mean, you are the pizza guy after all. And then go to domain join instead. Shit. And there you go. Well, okay, shit. All right, crazy. Ken. And super memorable password, one, two, three, four, five, six. Confirm, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, Security yeah. questions, f you. <laughs> eh, we can just do random shit. What was your them. first pet's name? <laughs> Security question two. Sorry, that was really immature, so. Um, what was your childhood nickname? <laughs> 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 what was the name of the school you first attended? <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> university. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's Cortana. Uh, how about no? No. I already have a personal assistant. Her name is Beth Ani. And off, 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 off. Yeah, I was going to say off, 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 off. And I think there's one more. <laughs> Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> well, th no. th this is a, this is an experimental account. It's gonna get wiped out. Now, do you have Adobe Premiere installed on your Mac OS partition, though? I do, but I probably might have to deactivate one of mine. But I don't care. Okay, I can just easily reactivate because right. Adobe is nice enough like that to let you reactivate your your two device limits. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in a future tech video log, we're gonna show our Adobe Premiere speed test on Windows versus Mac OS on the same hardware to see if Premiere is optimized for a certain platform over another. We'll see how fast each one is. That will be a little bit later. And uh, Maniac Mike has sacrificed his hardware for the experiment. We just need to get, you know, all the operating system stuff installed. So yeah, uh, now we're at the, this may take several minutes stage. I know exactly what it's doing. It's installing all of, those, all of that bloatware, like three different <laughs> versions of Candy Crush. Is it really installing Candy Crush? Yes. What? Leave everything oh. to us and... Almost there. And when, actually when that shows, it's less start because they changed it. Searching for a display driver. Oh yeah, if you close out Edge right behind you. Hey! Oh shit, dude! The software. Look at that. I was hoping that's how it would be. So yeah, let's just install that. Enumerating pre-installed packages. Oh, 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 oh okay. Sh yep, ev okay. Everything's doing the thing. Fix apps that are blurry because of the resolution. Okay, come oh, on. Nate. Maybe I shouldn't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I want to see, um, suggest, oh. Dark, oh, dark, oh. Well, that's too dark. Can you just give me, like, a slider? I think we have to wait for the actual, for the touch bar drivers to Yeah, install. it's just, it's too bright. Change brightness. There we go. Oh, there's our slider. Woo, that's all I wanted, yay. Oh, that makes it very hard to adjust to. Oh, shit! Ah. Now it's like nuclear, like, radiation poisoning. There you go. That should be fine. That's pretty. I haven't used a lot of the material, not material, oh my gosh, the um, fluent interface yet. Yeah, remember when I said about Candy Crush? Oh, there yeah. You go. There's, what the f***? Well, I guess they gotta have some games. That's kind of a, a Windows thing. But yeah, I just hope soon they, like, unify the interface look. Because, like, the Win32 stuff looks totally different from the, like, Universal stuff. And, like, the Fluent design. Yeah, Fluent design looks better, but the Win32 stuff looks like complete garbage. Yeah. 
Yeah, they kind of have a problem where they did too many different things and it's not uniform, which personally I don't like. But if I just focus on the whole uh, fluent design stuff, like that looks really freaking pretty. Yep, it's running all those packages. <laughs> blip, blip. Blip, 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 blip. And uh, complete. All right, restart the system recommended. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you have to when you install drivers of any sort. Mm, yeah, probably. Now, does it automatically switch the boot thing, or do I have to go to the picker? Um, I'm just I believe gonna, it switched my startup desk. Yeah, I'm just going to I'm just gonna go to the picker because I can. Oh, yeah, it did. Nice. That was painless. Yeah. What the heck? Well, and this is a T2 chipped laptop. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. have a T2 chip <laughs> on there, and you can't install Linux on there because no, could, the couldn't, SSD. Couldn't throw a Linux distro in there, no, no way. But well, I think our bootcamp bonanza is done. It. I don't see how the touch bar. Oh shit! It just came up. Um, there. Yeah, Maniac Mike, thank you so much for being our like savior for this experiment. Of course. And next time we revisit this computer, you will see the Adobe Premiere test, speed test, Adobe Premiere on Windows versus Mac OS. Until then, thanks for watching, catch the crazy, and pass it on. Oh.